Hi, I'm Erica Olson and welcome to Inside SoCal. Today we've hit the road and we're taking a little summer staycation. Just up the road from Santa Barbara is some of California's best wine country. So we've headed to Los Olivos to check it out. We have 15 different varietals here. Uh, Syrah is the most planted, about half the total vineyard Syrah, but a ton of different experiments within those 15, and then a bunch of different clonal and preclonal strains that we're propagating today. And how big is the property? Uh, the property is 218 acres, and we have 174 planted to vines. That's a lot to work. <laughs> yeah, from that we make 35 different wines every year. So my dad found the property in 1988 and he was able to purchase the land in 1990. He immediately began planting with Ruben, our vineyard manager, and we're up to 174 acres of vines and uh, yeah, it's a pretty incredibly beautiful place. We make a lot of different wines from rosé and whites to a lot of different chilled reds. And then of course our traditional reds. We specialize in Syrah, but here in the valley, we're better known for the local favorite Sangiovese from Tuscany. Our favorite wine to pour for visitors in our Los Olivos tasting room is La Quadria. When my dad was able to buy our land in 1990, he told our vineyard manager, Ruben, if my dream of starting a vineyard is to come true, I want it to positively affect everybody involved. So La Quadria evolved. Ruben began giving the crew their own training block, a quadra, within the vineyard. And the workers were the farmer, not just the worker. So they took pride in ownership, and dad decided to give them all the wine from their block so they could learn to enjoy the fruit of their labor. And today, La Quadria uh, represents at least 10% of our production, and all the profits go back to the crew. Well, when my dad started, and now that I'm carrying on this, this wonderful place, the thing I'm most proud of and what makes me the most happy is sustaining such a beautiful ranch, employing a, a great group of people, and hopefully one day I can pass it on to my own sons, who are only two and four right now. Hopefully one day they'll love wine too. But yeah, it's just great to be part of such a long-term um, legacy, hopefully, that all these vines should outlive me and maybe even my children if we take good care of them. Well, Peter, here's to that. Thank you so much for having us out. Cheers, Erica. Just minutes from the vineyard, we head into town. This charming, historic area offers great restaurants, shopping, and over 25 tasting rooms, including a crowd favorite, Liquid Farm. Jeff, thank you so much for inviting us into Liquid Farm, your tasting room. It's beautiful inside. Thank you, welcome. Thank you. So give us an overview of Liquid Farm. What's it all about? Well, Liquid Farm is really what the name says, liquid from farming. It's all about farming. What happens in the vineyard really translates to what happens in the bottle. And tell us about some of the wines that you offer. So Chardonnay has always been the focus. We did add a rosé into the mix in 2011, and we decided to do Pinot Noir in 2014. Wow, so how many wines in total then? So we've got about seven wines total. What do you think makes Los Olivos and Santinez Valley and, and the wines that you're making so special? I think, you know, the people really make this area very special. Um, it's more of a farming uh, feel to it than a chateau feel to it. But really the people, the soils, and really the weather makes this area very unique for grape growing, whether it's Chardonnay or Pinot Noir or Cabernet or Syrah. Also, the proximity to Los Angeles is a huge benefit. Uh, we're right off the freeway here. Los Olivos is a cute little town that has multiple tasting rooms here. Uh, so if people come, they can taste multiple different wineries in a day. Also, the restaurant scene is very nice and only getting better. Give us like your perfect day in Los Olivos. Coming to Liquid Farm would be a start of that. Uh, so so I would say start here. Nella is a great restaurant that just opened around the corner. There's also biking in the area too. There's some electric bikes that you can rent and ride around in the area. There's some great hikes as well uh, to do in the area, but of course, wine and food would be the two. There are a few uh, cute boutique shops, which is nice. So you can do a little bit of shopping. You don't have to drink necessarily. You can come have lunch, walk around, uh, shop. There is great history and it kind of feels like a small town. Um, on the weekends, we do get some great energy from people People traveling all, all around to visit so it is a it's got great energy and also has some history to it as well that's a wrap for our staycation we hope you and your loved ones hit the road and make some memories of your own this summer I'm Erica Olson we'll see you next Sunday